four diamond quality dining experience. Take a look. Chef Pete, tell me about High Stakes Restaurant. What are you really well known for? Well, we're well known especially for our beef. We're featuring Allen Brothers Dry Age Prime Beef. I have some here. And we're also known for just all our ingredients being thoughtfully sourced. So this is the place to be, and it's the best of the best, as you were mentioning. You go to the farmer's market, you get all the fresh produce, some of it which you have here. So what are we going to be making with some of this amazing, I see tomatoes, we got cucumbers. What is this going to create? Yeah, so I thought about um, the upcoming season, and I'm getting really excited for summer. We have planted 16 heirloom tomato plants in our garden. Wow, and you have so a garden here. Yeah. And it's, it's an amazing location and an amazing chance to really do farm to fork cooking. Absolutely. And so what, we, what we're gonna prepare today is a tomato gazpacho. You and if, you, if you'll help me. Um, I would love to. Okay. We have tomatoes diced in the bowl. That's three beefsteak tomatoes. If you'll just add the cucumber and I'll add the sweet pepper. This is red bell pepper and yeah. just an English cucumber. Um, uh, the jalapeno, and if you'll add, this is green garlic from the farmer's market. No way. A prominent seasoning is the smoked paprika, which I will add, because it's very powerful, so you don't want to overdo it. And then red wine vinegar. This is just a store-bought red wine vinegar. Whatever, whatever you can get your hands on will work. Mm -hmm. And a good amount of salt. And sourdough bread. Oh, which yes. Which is something that... Uh, you wouldn't think to put in gazpacho, but it adds a lot of body and the sourdough really adds a lot of flavor. Okay, so you want me to go ahead and mix all this up for you? Yes, please. Okay, so you need this to marinate, but you already have this. Yes, that's through the magic of TV. Magic of television. I, another reason I made this is because this is gonna be featured on two of our upcoming menus. Oh. The happy hour menu, uh, we open the patio here on May 1st, and we're gonna be doing a late night happy hour in addition to our regular bar happy hour. So Sunday through Friday, just not Saturday, mm -hmm. four to seven inside and then seven to 10 outside. Fantastic. And you can come and get this very gazpacho. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that, it smells like summer, it looks like summer. I can imagine uh, eating this fantastic Chilled soup, because that's what a gazpacho is, right? Yeah, nice absolutely. cold soup, so it's perfect for the hot weather. Another dish that I thought of uh, preparing today, featuring especially the summer uh, vegetables, is a tabbouleh salad with uh, Scottish salmon and a little basil herb pesto. <laughs> I'll cook the salmon, and uh, you can start to mix the salad. Okay. What's in the bowl is a uh, couscous, okay. and then would you add to the couscous, the, this is purple radish from the farmer's market, mm. and the English cucumber and cherry tomatoes. The in the chopped herbs there are a combination of cilantro, parsley, and mint. The mint is from the garden. And just not everything exactly, maybe half. Okay. But uh, this dish will, should have a lot of herbs. A okay, herb. so do half of this? Yes, half of that. Got it. And then half of the green onion also, please. Okay. Note for home cooks, when you're cooking uh, fish with the skin on, it's very important that the pan is hot before you put the fish in the pan. So you see the oil is rippling and smoking, mm -hmm. that means it's hot. I can feel it actually, yeah. yeah. This is super easy to make and uh, really just fresh flavors. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse my reach, I'm gonna put some lemon zest. You got it. Lemon zest is also an amazing ingredient to use for flavoring anything. It tastes good with almost anything. And a little bit of fresh lemon juice. If you cut the, around the core, you uh, miss the seeds. Oh, that's So by crazy. cutting it like this, you know, I don't have to squeeze the seeds out. This smells amazing with the salmon, and then you got the lemon and the herbs in this couscous salad. Wow. Very, very important ingredient, extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. And another very important ingredient, salt. I thought of doing these two dishes because they're really about the produce, they're really about the ingredient and also about the summer season, you know, this is going to be featured on our upcoming menu for, which we're rolling out for the summer concert series here. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, what a fantastic summer opportunity then. You can come out here, you can enjoy one of the shows, enjoy this fantastic patio, have all the fantastic fresh produce and delicious meats. And also <laughs> part of our uh, patio happy hour, we're gonna be uh, pouring a seasonal sangria. Oh, beautiful. My and, goodness. Yeah, this is uh, also featuring seasonal fruit. Uh, peach, kind of citrusy, white sangria. So all of this literally is fresh, farm to fork, a celebration of kind of the cornucopia of the area in which we live. 
You have the gorgeous view, you have a gorgeous setting, and a delicious meal, and now a fantastic drink. Thank you so much, Chef. Life is good. Life it is, is a pleasure. Good. Yes. And where can our viewers go so they can come out here and make the reservations and have this amazing experience? Please go to opentable.com to make a reservation and look for high stakes, or you could call the casino mainline.